Hi, welcome back to Art by Brooke. In today's video, we are doing another installment of my Art for Everyone series, where I show you how to do approachable art journaling pages, and I give you prompts so that you can go ahead and try them on your own. As always, you can follow along exactly with what I'm doing, or you can change things as you go, depending on what you're feeling. Also, I will give you suggestions for how to switch it up as we're going. What you need for this project includes the following glue or some sort of other way to attach pieces of paper to your page, including tape or anything else. Some sort of book that you can cut a section out of, I am using a thesaurus. If you don't have a thesaurus or a dictionary or something to cut things out of, you can just use a piece of paper and write a quote or something out of a thesaurus on it. We'll go into that a little bit more later. You will also need scrap paper, uh, preferably things that have nice colors or patterns that you really like. But you can also do this with just white paper. It'll make a cool texture regardless. Sometimes I save my pages that have paint on them and use those for scrap later. You can also use security envelopes like the kinds you get from the bank or tax documents because they have really cool patterns inside. You will also need a pen. Uh, I forgot to film that at the beginning of the video, so here's a picture. Any kind of pen that you're comfortable with. If you'd like to see any of the previous pages, I will have the playlist linked in the description down below. You'll want to start by first ripping up little squares or any other shapes of your paper, or if you don't like the process of ripping, you can use scissors or anything similar. Basically, you just want a lot of little pieces of paper because we're gonna do a collage with these. You can do as many as you want, and I would suggest doing a little bit more than you think you need because then you have some different shapes and stuff to play around with. Next, you're just gonna to wanna to start gluing things down. There's no real rhyme or reason or rules to this, Basically, just start somewhere. I recommend starting kind of near the middle of the page because then you can go out from that. And then just put down pieces that you think look good next to the other pieces. It's a very simple process and you can do it however you want. This process is an especially good time to kind of think over anything that you've been dealing with or go over any emotions in your head if those are emotions that you're trying to maybe address while you're doing your art journaling or just use it as a time to kind of check out and relax. Basically just keep going for as long as you think it needs. Now I'm showing you here how it could look if you filled your whole page with collage because that would be a really cool look but I really liked the page where I kind of only did part of it. I kind of liked that look. So that's what I decided to go with. I'm also adding in just a little bit of texture from one of those envelopes. But you can also use a lot of pieces of that within your regular collage. Now I am pulling out my book and just looking for a word that feels fitting for whatever I'm feeling that day. You could also just use a quote or a section that looks really cool in whatever book you're cutting from. You can either cut it or rip it out, whatever you prefer. Now, if you don't have a book that you can use, you can go ahead and do this process by taking a piece of white paper or any other scrap paper and writing down a quote or looking at a thesaurus or going on dictionary.com and finding a word that you think kind of fits for the day. You can write it really fancy or you can just use a regular pen and write it out. Again, there's no real rules, it's your art journal. Next, I kind of went between the two because I had both options. So I laid them out and tried to visualize what I liked better. So this is something you can do as well. You can move things around the page and see where you like them. It's really about finding a good place that feels right for the layout you were going for. I ultimately decided to go with the cutout one. I just liked the way the colors looked better, but I think either would fit in that space. 
I just trimmed it up a little bit just so that it would be a little bit more the shape I was hoping for and then went ahead and put it in the page. So I'm showing you here that I really like the white space and you can totally leave that blank, but I'm going to show what you can do if you'd like to fill in some things. Here I am just doing a ton of little lines. I really enjoy using this. I think that it looks really cool once you step back from the page and you have a ton of little lines all over. It adds some really interesting texture and depth. But also, instead of this, if you want, you could use this space for journaling, whatever you're feeling that day, or if something happened and you'd like to write about it, or if, as you're collaging, something inspires you, or if you think of something you kind of want to work out. You can also use other shapes like circles or triangles, squares, you can do squiggles, anything like that. So as you can see, it kind of pulls the page together. Now, as usual, you can totally date the page. You can either put the date or the time of day, anything you want. I usually like to date my art journal pages, but I don't do it in these videos because these videos are timeless and can apply to you anytime. But it's always good to record the date just in case you want to come back to the page and see how you were feeling on that particular day. But that's totally up to you and is not required. Well, I hope you had a good time art journaling along with me, or if you weren't, I hope you had a good time watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video. If you like this kind of video, please leave a comment down below letting me know. And if there are any types of art journaling techniques or prompts that you would like to see in the future, definitely let me know. I'm hoping to make more of these videos coming up. My goal is to make art approachable and to show everyone that anyone can create something, anyone can make art, and art is for everyone. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.